Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to an Apple update. I thought I would do this here because I know a lot of people have been watching Apple uh, because so many people think Apple's going to recover. Apple is not recovering. It's not going to recover anytime soon. And proof positive, let's take a look at Apple today. First of all, the market is rallying today, gapped up, had a nice bullish gap, and has power trended all day with really no let up. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and Apple only gapped up today with the market. This was, a, this was a gap just with the overall market here in Apple. There's no reason for this gap at all. It gapped up with the market. Otherwise, it wouldn't have gapped up today. Okay? So, look at it. Apple's actually red, and the market is screaming green. Now, I'm just pointing that out because it's just one of these things I love to point out. When people like to say, oh, Apple's rallying. This is not power. This is not power. This is not buying. No one's buying Apple here. This is power. That. That's buying. Buying, buying, power. That's what buying looks like. Solid, fat, green people. This isn't even buying. This is like a rally. A rally into resistance that held here and only would have gapped up over this if it weren't for the market today. So Apple is really going to play out and continue and follow through in the trend that it's in, in the downtrend. It's in a downtrend. It's going to stay in the downtrend and continue in the downtrend. Apple really, really, I mean, you look at Apple today in the market, it's like, it, this is like 100% conviction for me now. Although I really knew it here the day of the gap because Apple had earnings out in the 28th and gap down. And I did do a video on this earlier and said that Apple had to give up to 600 to correct the chart. It couldn't do it. It didn't do it. And it was too close to doing it not to do it. So it's over for Apple, at least for the short term time frame here to come down and break and come down here to pretty much 360, possibly 350. This is so bearish for the Apple to be doing this today. I don't, I don't know if people understand how bearish this is. I know it is a bottoming tail. Forget the tail. This is bearish for Apple to be doing this. It's gapping up on a poo-poo bullish gap that's failing anyways. And even if Apple even rallies for the next couple of days, it's just going to rally into resistance. In fact, here's the next resistance level on Apple, really. But I don't even know if it gets up there. I mean, this, this, <laughs> this is so weak here today. So we'll see what ends up happening. But... This big, huge, beautiful move on Apple here that everybody wants to see happen again, I don't see happening and playing out this year unless Apple gaps up in a nice bullish gap to correct the chart, which it hasn't done. It hasn't done. It hasn't done any fabulous, beautiful, golden bullish gaps for a long time. It has done golden bearish gaps and, and is continuing to do them. And really, uh, you know, the target on this, the next target on this is down in here, down in here down in here and so on and so forth. I think there's going to be some gaps that make that happen. When, why, I don't know. I don't really know when the next earning report is out on Apple. I have to look at the calendar. Uh, but for now, Apple is really not doing anything of any consequence to convince me, at least, that it's got it in it. This looks really very bearish here considering what the market's doing today in Apple. And it could have gapped up and been green today, and I still would say the chart's in a downtrend, because it is. All right. So we'll have to keep watching Apple and seeing. I always like to go look at it and see what it's doing compared to the market. Really gives you an indicator of something that's going on here. Where's the power? There is no power going on in this Apple today. If people wanted to lift this up here today, they could. Why? Because the market's doing a confirmation today that it's following through in the rally and the uptrend that it's been in. So with that confirmation, if people really wanted to buy into Apple, they would. There'd be nothing holding them back. People love to go with the market. If the market's rallying, they want to go with it. If the market's selling off, they go with it. People love to take trades with the market because the market helps give things a lift. The market is even giving Apple a lift today. It helped it in the gap up, and that was the end of the story. In fact, let's just see how it opened on the day. I think it immediately fell. Wait, let's look. It did. Op Apple opened while the market opened and rallied and immediately fell. Went higher and went over the high of the day a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And that's it. It's going to pit her off. This is actually going to close with a bit of a red. 
I would be surprised if Apple actually continued here down here into Monday because this is really bearish for this chart. So Apple is still in a downtrend and still a good short. Good short. You can short it every day that it looks like it's setting up to short. And, you know, Apple's one of these great, great uh, companies that, for whatever reason, people aren't buying into it right now. It's, it's not in play, put it that way. And you look at something like this, you look at something like Netflix, there's just no comparison, no comparison at all. So this is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. This is an Apple update. Apple held today very bearishly against a very bullish market. It's still in a downtrend. The gap that happened back there is still intact. And we'll see and watch us and continue to see what it does. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The next Golden Gap class is this weekend, February 8th and 9th. If you're interested, you can email me about signing up. Actually, the deadline is today. And I will announce when the next class is sometime, sometime soon. So keep a lookout. I mean, these are the kind of things that it's so important to learn, to understand, to pick these charts and read these charts to see what the price is doing because you can make money on these trades if you know what's going to happen here, not only ahead of time, but on the live day when you see the actual price of the gap. This is Melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great weekend, everybody.